so in laminar flow we have seen equation of velocity equation of shear stress as well as we have seen equation of average velocity but during this we have kept one constant as a during this we have kept one term as constant that is change in pressure with change in length which is called as pressure gradient now what we are going to do is we are going to calculate what is the pressure over a given length of the pipe so to calculate the pressure drop over an entire length let us consider a pipe let us consider a pipe having a length x2 and there is section 1 1 over here and section 2 2 over here so section 1 1 is at a distance of x1 from the origin and section 2 2 is at a distance of x2 from the origin the distance between x1 and x2 that is section 1 and 2 will give that uh, give it as l that as l so now we know that the fluid is flowing from section 1 1 to section 2 2 but during this its average velocity u bar is minus 1 upon 8 mu dou p by dou x into r square so that is what is the average velocity of that entire part so now we have calculated what is average velocity initially what we are going to keep constant now the value of average velocity which will actually be constant over the entire flow of the pipe we are going to change what is the length over here so now let us calculate the drop in pressure over an entire length so now let us cross multiply this so and what do we get let us calculate this part so this will be u bar into 8 mu into dou x upon r square is equals to dou p now we have to integrate this from pressure p is equals to p1 to pressure p2 since we are considering from this part the boundary condition for section 1 1 will be when x is equals to x1 p is equals to p1 and when x is equals to x2 p will be equals to p2 so now let us evaluate this and we can integrate the left hand side from x1 to x2 so in this entire part the average velocity mu 8 as well as r square is going to remain constant so we'll keep this term as constant and take that as k we'll substitute later on when we need the value of k so now let us integrate this part so this let me write down the equation all over again that is integral of p1 to p2 dou p is equals to integral of k into dou x from x1 to x2 so when we integrate this so this is p2 minus p1 and this will be k times x2 minus x x2 minus x1 so we have we know that x2 minus x1 is equals to the length of that entire pipe so that is between section 1 1 and section 2 2 so let us substitute that value of l in that equation so what do we get over here that is p2 minus p1 is equals to minus 1 upon 8 mu that is value of uh, p2 minus p1 will keep as it is that is k into l then we'll substitute the value of k that is equals to p2 minus p1 will be equals to u bar into 8 mu upon r square into minus 1 is equals to l so the change in pressure over an entire length will be equals to minus u bar 8 into mu upon r square now this negative sign can be taken on the right hand side on the left hand side so we get this as equals to 
P1 minus P2 upon L is equals to U bar 8 mu upon R square. So this is change in pressure over that entire length that is 8 that is 8 mu u bar upon r square. So the pressure drop over a given length is p1 minus p2 upon l mu into 8 uh, u into 8 mu upon r square. So the drop in pressure p1 minus p2 can be written as 8 mu into u bar into l upon this radius can be converted in terms of diameter so that will be equals to diameter by 2 the whole square so pressure drop is equals to this will be 2 square will be 4 4 times 8 is 32 32 mu u bar into l upon this will be d square this is p1 minus p2 so now we have got this p1 minus p2 as 32 mu u bar l upon d square that is the pressure drop over that entire length the initial pressure should be always greater than the final pressure then only the fluid will flow from the left hand side to the right hand side rather it will flow from we have seen in the previous part rather it will flow from section 1 1 to section 2 2 if pressure p1 will be greater than p2 now let us study this further in terms of head loss now head loss is defined as p1 minus p2 upon rho g so this is called as head loss due to pressure so now the head loss due to pressure will be given as 32 mu u bar l upon d square into rho into g so the head loss due to the change in the pressure will be given as this entire term now what is head loss due to pressure now this is pressure head loss that means as we go from the left hand side towards the right hand side the the pressure is going to decrease this is similar this is similar to a wire conducting this is similar to a wire conducting an electrical current. So if we have V1 and V2, then the current is flowing will flow from higher potential to lower potential. Similarly, if you have pressure drop, then the fluid will flow from higher potential. Uh, pressure end to the lower pressure end during this entire part if you consider this as the point over here this is v3 v3 point will have a lower potential as compared to v1 that means as it goes from left to right the potential is going to decrease similarly as it going it goes from p1 to p2 the pressure is going to reduce the larger the pressure difference larger will be the flow of the fluid and during this the, there is some loss in pressure that pressure loss is given in terms of head loss that is p1 minus p2 by rho g that is 32 mu u bar l d square upon rho into g now this is head loss now to overcome this pressure loss or head loss we need to calculate the power required so power required to overcome this pressure can be given as power required or power lost due to pressure head loss or head loss will be given as capital P is equals to rho g rho into g q into h l h l is the pressure loss so the power will be given as rho into g q into h l was given as 32 mu u l upon d square into rho into g so these two terms will go away and we'll be left with 32 mu u l into q upon d square that is the power loss due to the due to the pressure loss between the two sections of the pipe so i hope you have understood what is drop in pressure over a given length 
and due to the drop in pressure there is power loss over that entire uh, to overcome that pressure loss we have some power loss thank you